What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another Counter-Strike Global Defensive video for you. So, as you may or may not know, recently they've added an update that allows you to take other people's crosshairs while you're spectating. The massive downside to doing this is that once you've grabbed someone's crosshair, you lose your own personal crosshair and in order to get back to it, you either have to run a config again, run a bunch of commands, or change it inside of the options menu under Game Crosshair. So today I'll be showing you how you can copy and inspect other people's crosshairs and then revert back to your own one if you so wish. Now, after viewing the crosshairs or even a way later in the future, just as long as you keep a little something saved. Either way, I'll go ahead and hop into a deathmatch so I can show you exactly what I mean. There we go. So this is my current crosshair, a small blue thing, and I'll want to go ahead and inspect someone else on this list, but I want to keep this config for this exact crosshair. How exactly do we do it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Simply hit escape before you're gonna copy a crosshair, head across to settings, game, crosshair, and then make sure to look at this image up here. In the bottom right of the image, you'll see share or import, undo changes and reset. What you wanna do is click share or import, then simply click copy your code, and you can see copied your code to clipboard. Above over here, you have your CSGO crosshair share code, which if you gave this to someone else, they'd get the exact same settings for the crosshair. Of course, if your crosshair goes out of bounds of what these options here are, say you've got your length to be way higher than 10, there wouldn't really be an easy way to get back to it because I'm pretty sure the share or import code only exists within these boundaries over here. If you wanted to save a crosshair that doesn't fit within these bounds over here, then I've got a second method which I'll get into later. But for now, simply click share or import, copy your code. Then I'll close out of this, and with it still copied to my clipboard, it is saved temporarily. If you want to save it permanently, make sure to open up a notepad file, or send it to a friend on Steam by right-clicking and clicking paste, so you always have that piece of text handy. Then I'll go ahead and click on someone here, I'll copy their crosshair, yes, and I've suddenly got a different crosshair. The usual way to get back to your normal crosshair is escape, settings, and put all of the settings in once again, but there's a much easier way to do this. Simply click share or import once again, and this time instead of clicking copy your code, simply click this text box over here, control V to paste, or right click and paste, then click import. Then you'll see your crosshair appears over here, and if we close out of that menu, we can see our crosshair in game. When I talked about the settings here being out of bounds and it not working with the copy code, I'm not entirely sure if that is 100% a thing, but it probably is. So keep that in mind if yours is dramatically outside of these lines over here. If it is, and you'd like to save it a different way, then there's a pretty easy way of doing it. So if your crosshair doesn't fit into that, then there's a really simple way that we can get around this. First of all, head across to Steam and into the CSGO workshop. Of course, a direct link to this will be down below. Then in the search box, we'll type in C-R-A-S-H-Z, crashes. Then we'll have a look for this over here, crashes crosshair generator with five out of five stars. Crosshair generator V3, as far as I know, is the newest version and it still works today. So you've probably seen this map before, but there's only one feature that we really want out of this map. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to it via Steam and the map will download into Counter-Strike. Then head into Counter-Strike and we'll change it from official to workshop maps. Then simply find Crash's crosshair generator, click on it and click go. Go again and we're loading into it. Then pick any team and we're inside of the crosshair generator. Simply on the left hand side look for crosshair manager and we'll simply click share crosshair. Then inside of your console you'll see this over here. This is your crosshair settings for the current crosshair that you have equipped. Simply select everything by dragging and dropping and either Control c to copy or right-click copy. Then we'll minimize Counter-Strike and we'll head back to Steam. We'll go to Library, find Counter-Strike, right-click, Properties, Local Files, and we'll click Browse Local Files. Then you'll see this window over here pop up. We'll go into CSGO followed by CFG. Now, if you have an autoexec.cfg, you could always put it into here as well to make sure that it always sets back to your default crosshair whenever you start up the game. But of course, that's not what we're looking for. What we'll do is we'll right click, new text document, and we'll go ahead and rename new text document.txt to something like crosshair.cfg. 
If you don't see the .txt after it and you don't get this pop-up over here warning you about a file name extension change, then simply head across to the View tab and make sure that file name extensions is checked. Then simply remove the .txt from the end of crosshair.cfg. Then we'll open it up with a text editor like Notepad and we'll simply paste in what we copied here. I'll hit Control S to save it and we can close out of this. Then we can also close out of this window over here and head back into Counter-Strike. Once we're back in Counter-Strike, I'll head back into a deathmatch to show you exactly what we did. So once we're back in game, you can see that my crosshair is currently set to the blue one that I had earlier. And if I go to my scoreboard, pick a random person and steal their crosshair. Of course, this isn't my crosshair and I'm currently not comfortable with it. If I did have custom settings that didn't fit into that share code, then there's a really simple command that we can run now that we've backed it up into a config. Simply open up your console, type in exec, E-X-E-C, space, followed by the name of the file without .cfg after it. So we call it crosshair. And as you can see, as soon as we type in CR, it pops up with autocomplete. Then after typing it all out as such, hit enter, close the console. And as you can see, we have our crosshair back in all of its beauty that it was before ready for us to play with. But anyways, once you have it backed up like that, no matter how many times you steal other people's crosshairs or forget to actually copy the share code, you'll always have a permanent backup of your crosshair settings, which you can take between computers, etc, etc. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.